that's enough now. Yeah, well, it's him, not me. Oh, go on, yeah, no, blame me. Yet. Here, pal. Oh, tell. Love letter? No, it's from Kerwood about the flat. So it's mine if I want it. Oh, good, I'm going to move Simon's gear out of my room. Oh, no, you can't. Here. I thought you was playing football today. I am. Well, I'll do it when I get home. Hang on, I can't move in till next week. I've got to sort the keys out first. I could break the window for you. Typical! Ricky! All right, I'm going. Now, madam, you can go and clear your room. It looks like a rag shop. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be on holiday. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. Really... You don't look exactly overjoyed. I thought this is what you wanted. Just that makes the separation kind of official, doesn't it? Second thoughts. Well, she says it's a big step, that's all. Can you afford it? Well, the store's not doing too bad. You still want it to work the odd night, don't you? Yeah, of course. Look, Cathy, you're welcome to stay here, you know. Thanks, Pat, but I've got to stand on my own two feet sooner or later. <sighs> Flat on my own. I can hardly believe it. Don't expect Pete will, either. Cheers, boy. Jump seat, please, Ian. Yeah, oh, come on, Yeah. You got a minute? Yeah, I'll bring it over, all right? Please. Yeah. Good to have you, old pilot. How's things in your business? Well, I haven't been privatised yet. Mm. Pete. I was wondering how Sharon is. What can you expect? The dad's dead. Can't give him a decent funeral. Pay your last respects. Near the old building's been dragged off by a barge or something. Don't be a thing about that. You were great friends, weren't you? You and Dan? Yeah. Go back a long time. You been to see Sharon? No, they told me at work she hadn't been in. So I went round the flat. She's not there either. Don't know where she's staying, do you? <laughs> and you didn't turn up neither. Don't seem right, does it? The old thing's a mess up all round, if you ask me. I don't suppose you thought about having some sort of service. You know, pay your last respects. Oh, I don't know. Not like a proper funeral, is it? Then there's a powerful personality. It made a big impact around here. Yeah, you can say that again. And it could help Sharon to come to terms with the fact that he's gone. Well, like anything said out of order. No, no, it wouldn't be like that, Pete. You can say a few words yourself, if you like. Kind of farewell. Well, he wasn't all that bad. I want more people to remember him like that. You think you can think something up? You leave it to me. It's a shame, you know. You and her didn't make it. It's been a great help right now. Yeah, all right, I will if I see her. Thanks a lot. Bye. Sharon? Yeah, I thought she might have gone to work. And? I haven't seen her either. I mean, she almost knows where she is. Well, she does. She ain't saying nothing. Simon? Yeah? I know you're worried about Sharon, but I ain't going to get the pub open. Would you mind having me bottle up? I'm sorry, Mum, but I'm going to look for her, all right? It'd love to be, won't it? Trouble? I hope not, Kath. I hope not. You're my beauty. Terrific. <laughs> yes, it must make a lot more work, but suffer little children, Matthew. That is what we're told. Yes, yeah, suffer's the right word, Doc. Uh, have you seen this, have you? Yeah. It's from your granddaughter. Yeah, well, whoever said kids were a cause for celebration wants his head looking at. Matthew, yes. we've got these. Hi, darling. Hi, Aish. Oh, and you won't forget to pick Aish up from nursery, will you? And you will be at the shop before Junior gets there. Why can't you pick up Aish? Matthew, we agreed. I drop her off, you pick her up. It just seems a bit unfair, that's all. I get lumbered with both of them. So why didn't you say this before? You know I've got this meeting today and the sort of trouble I've been in. All right, all right, I'll be there. I just think we should talk about it again, that's all. Yeah, all right. Tonight, okay? Yeah. But all I'm saying is that one of us should go round and find out what's going on. Oh, I'll believe him to get on with it. They've probably had a row over the gas bill. Whatever. It'll sort itself out. Well, if you walked out every time we had a row over bills, our marriage would be on a three-day week. Yes, dear. Now, Michelle knows where we are. I've got to go to work. I'll be late. Look, I don't care what you say, Pauline. Sharon walked out, so it must be serious. Arthur, I said we'll talk about it later, all right? I've got to get going. I'm going to be late. Oh. Oh, is Arthur in? Honey, I wanted to have a word with him about the community centre. I think it's best we all know where we stand. Oh, they say you're right. Yes, Arthur! Mm -hmm. Excuse me, won't you? I'm going to be late for work. Ta-da, love! Yeah. Look, I don't know. Hello, Mo. I know what you come to speak about. Oh, you've heard about the brownies, then? The brownies? Seventeen of them left outside the centre yesterday. Nobody to let them in. I, I know about that. Nothing. Then there was the pregnant mums come for their exercise. Oh, yeah, class. I know. Now, yes. it's not good for them to be left standing about on the pavement, not in their condition. No, I realise that, and what I'm going to then do is... Then you had the licensed vitulous double booked with the Alcoholics Anonymous. I mean, there was nearly a riot. Yeah, I know about that, and what I thought I'd do is... Still, if I... uh, it's not your fault, is it? Isn't it? Of course not. You're a very busy man. You've got that store to run. I understand that. You do? Of course. That's why I haven't minded helping you out from time to time. Unofficially, of course. You haven't? Not at all. But I think the time has come now to put things on a proper basis. 
Uh, yes, yeah. Well, I, as a matter of fact, I thought about giving up the community centre. I, I thought about writing to them and no. explaining... No, 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 no. Writing's no. no good. Never get anything done that way. Face to face. That's the only way. Well, I suppose I could pop round there sometime next week. I'd... Just leave it to me. Tell me who's in charge and I'll sort it out. Best that way. <laughs> if you're sure you don't mind. I've got that fella's name and address here somewhere. Just a minute. Here you go, Doc. Six balls of pig wool, four a lemon, two a white. Oh, thank you, Cab. Here, it is pure wool, isn't it? Yeah, of course, that's what you want, isn't it? Oh, I wouldn't touch nothing else. I mean, you know, that acrylic and that, it's all very well, you know, and I'm sure it'll do for most babies, but I mean, you can't be pure wool, can you? Now, you're right for patterns, because yeah, some lovely no. ones. I've got the Princess Beatrice collection. Well, if it's good enough for the Queen. Here, do you think she does her own knitting? I mean, I know she must be very busy with all that waving and handshaking, but I mean, she is her granddaughter. You think she make the effort. Do you know, I wish I still had my machine. I could knock these out here in a oh, couple no, of Oh, no, no, thank you. I mean, no offence, Kat. You know, I know you're a professional and all that, uh, but, I mean, it's not the same, is it? I mean, you can't put the love into it. Not with a machine. Mind you, I wish I'd had more notice. Well, at least this way you know what you're knitting for, don't you? Oh, yes, when I had my knit, he was in a pink dress for two weeks. I can't see your knick in a pink dress somewhere, Doc. Oh, don't get me wrong, Kat. I mean, he was pretty as a picture. Oh, he was a lovely little boy. I mean, in fact, he was so pretty, people looking for a girl. Yeah, that may have had something to do with the dress, though, Doc. And this is where you're that for? Oh, yes, you don't know, do you? That's for my granddaughter. My Nick has had a baby. Oh, I didn't even know I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> a new life is no joking matter, Cindy. I'm sorry. I yes, mean. I know that people think that my Nick is a bad lad, but the Bible says you shall know him by their fruits. And my Nick has just produced a beautiful baby girl, so he can't be as bad as some people make out, can he? I remember my Ian was a baby, you know. He had a mass of curly hair. It looked a bit like Shirley Temple. Oh, I love him. Old Pete thought it was going to be a girl. He did that test, you know, the weight on the end of a bit of a string. And you hold it over your lump, and if it goes anti-clockwise, it's going to be a boy. Oh, or is yeah. it the other way round? I done that with my Nick. It went up and down in a straight line. Uh, no fault of you, old son, is it? What are you, a dealer? Mm. All these motors standing here, you make a beeline for the best buyer of the lot. Well, there she is, my old son. 52,000 genuine miles, a brand new battery, and a service record Mount Batten will be proud of. As a matter of fact, the guy that sold me this walked out of here with tears in his eyes. My missus said to me last week, I'm looking for a runner. She's got her eye on this. They make you laugh, wouldn't they? Really, I said, a runner? What are you talking about, darling? This is a prestige motor, which a man's motor car. Far too powerful for a runner. Frank. Here, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Frank. Just a moment. Serious buns, dear. Now, what's so important? It won't wait for two minutes. I'm expecting a delivery. Well, they should have been here and gone by now. No, they phoned to say they'd be late. Where's Simon? He had to pop out. Pop out? What's that supposed to mean, pop out? He's gone looking for Sharon. Oh, that's it. So I've got to leave my job and go and do Simon's job, is that it? Hey, I'll tell you what I can do, darling. Give me two minutes to sell this man this motor car, then I'll come over and unload the lorry. And I'll tell you what I could do. I might have ten minutes to spare. If you like, I could decorate the front room. A better idea still. Why don't we shove a broom up my jacksie, and I can sweep the floor to Have side. you quite finished? Don't pick me from me over there, you know. All right, I'll be over. Just give me five minutes for this food, will you? Please. Thank you. Five yes, minutes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, well, well. Have a look down, my old son. Oh, I thought we were in trouble. She's only spotted me shy this. I said, well, pet my darling. If this gentleman wants to buy the motor, it's his prerogative as a customer. Now, Doc, service wash for Dr. Leg. It'll be in this afternoon for him. Oh, I don't know if I've got the time for him, because, I mean, all the machines are full, and I've got all that lot down there waiting to go in. I mean, I'd like to do it, you know, seeing as it's Dr. All right, well, don't you worry, Doc. I can see you're busy with your knitting. Yeah. I'll leave that down there. I'll do it myself this right. afternoon. Oh, hey, Paulie, I've been looking for you. Yeah, well, now you've found me. Look, she's also anything to you about Sharon. Oh, not you, and all. Look, I haven't seen Michelle. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where Sharon is. Why don't you ask Michelle yourself? She said she doesn't know. But she doesn't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seems a bit strange, this all. It's like she does know, but she's not letting on. I'll tell you what, Simon. If anybody ever does tell me what's going on, I'll make sure you're first to know, all right? I'm going to get on with your work. All right. I hope you don't want a machine, because I've just learned to call in. I've never known it so pretty. I mean, people come in here, and they just dump their bags. They expect everyone else to do the work. I mean, they don't realise what's involved. No, Doc, I don't want a machine. I just wanted to chat. Oh, well, you won't mind talking while I'm working. It's about Donna. Donna? Well, she's not in more trouble, is she? I mean, she was all right this morning. She was full of the joys of the spring, as you might say. Yeah. She's not on. Well, not as far as I know. No, I just want you to keep an eye on her, that's all. Oh, well, I do my best. I mean, I make sure she gets the right things to eat. I mean, I ain't had a loaf of white bread in the house since Charlie left. No, I don't think you understand. I'm leaving, Doc. 
You what? I've got a job on the road with a band. How long for? As long as it lasts, I suppose. Yes, but I thought, you know, that you and Dana... Yeah, were... I can well imagine what you thought, Doc, but I'm afraid I'm not ready to play Mr Bun the Baker just yet. Who? Happy Families. She ain't gonna like it. Well, I'll tell her myself, but you know what she's like. Well, I ought to. I just thought maybe you could help her understand. Well, I don't know if I understand myself, Rod. But I'll do my best. Cheers, Doc. I'll have to go. I've got to pack all my stuff, but... I'll nip in and see Donna before I go, eh? Well, Rod and I don't want to be running this store all our lives. We're making other plans, don't you? Opening other stores. Up west, maybe. We've even been thinking of taking on other people to work them for us. In fact, Rod's off checking up the sites right now. He should be back soon. Of course, in the long term, we'll probably think of moving into shops. Just a couple to start with. We may even get one with a flat above it. After that, who knows? Right. <laughs> I say it's true what they say then. What's that? There'll be no rest for the wicked. Yeah, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, I'll give you a hand if I'm so busy. One. Oh! Oh! Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! Hey! Back. Oh, Simon, get me inside, and I've done me back. Oh, you're back? Yeah. I thought you must have dropped a quid or something. I'll drop you if you don't get me inside, boy. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do then? Bite me ankles? Bite your ankles in a minute. Here, yeah, Frank, you would watch it. You know, you're going a bit thin. I know I'm going thin on top. It ain't funny, Simon. Get me inside, yeah. please. This is a good time to ask you for a ride. Get me Frank, what the hell are you playing at? I think he's done his back, Mum. What happened? I well, I don't know. I just found him. Right. Stop having an inquest and get me inside, Pat, please. All right, all right, all right. Take it up. easy. Take... Go and get Dr. Lake. Go on. Like now. There you go, you can have that one on the end. Oh, sorry. Right. Thanks, lad. Oh, Kat, uh, you got a minute. No, I'm sorry, Pat. I've been gone too long already. Only Duncan's looking for Sharon. I think we ought to have a bit of a service. He's done me up trade, is he? <laughs> well, it's a good idea, but we should do something. But I can't stop now. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you later, Mum. See ya. Give us two salad rolls, take away, son. Yeah, a couple of minutes, Pops. I ain't got time to hang about either. The place got me. Yeah, you can say that again. Uh, burger and tea, sweetie, mate, 145, all right? Get my grub. Yeah, just give us five minutes, right? Pops, sit down and I'll bring it over. I've got time to sit down, boy. I'll see you later. Yeah, Dad, just give me a minute, will you? Oh, Oh, stay down. Hello. Ali, no, he's out on the call. Um, hang on, listen, Sue. Um, I suppose you basically got the new for half hour, do you? You know, just till Ali gets back. Well, I take it as a no, then, is it? Yeah, all right, Sue, thanks. Bye. Right. Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, don't tell me. It's my stunning good looks, silk like figure, and sparkling personality. No, it's hands. There's an extra pair of. Oh, yeah, and I can't. I've got a full time job at the Vic. Must be Mum's stall. Oh, come on, love. It's an emergency. I've got my deliveries to do. I suppose you could do your free coffees, could you? Cheers. Oh, where's all the Osmonds? What is it, Turkish New Year or something? I'll tell you, there's something funny going on there. Sue's just fucked up for Ellie. Oh, well, I wife wanted to talk to her husband. No, that is funny. No, it's more like she was checking him while I'm here. Yeah, and this place is falling apart. Next, she'll be finding fingernails in the pork pies. Well, I'll tell you, if there is something going on. What that can mean, don't you? So can I then wide boy steps seven times over? Like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, you wash it, you don't sit your naughty bits. Don't suppose you had anything to do with what's going on, did you? No, I'm just biding my time, waiting to take advantage. It's all good business. Mm, sounds like dirty work at the crossroads to me. Nah, this place could be a right little gold mine. Everything comes to he who waits. Try saying that to Jack. Oh, sorry, Jack. You'll be in some discomfort for a while, so I'll give you a prescription for a painkiller and an anti-inflammatory. They're both quite mild. But together, they should do the trick. Oh, right, Doc. He's got to be kept on a flat surface, so I should get Simon to sort him out some boards. He'd be uncomfortable at first, but if you put a cushion under his knees, that'll help, as long as his spine is flat. So how to straighten him up, Doc? Tie his legs a little bit and sit on his chest? That's not very funny, Simon. It would keep you out of mischief. No, he looked like that because his muscles went into spasm. It's nature's way of keeping him still and preventing any further damage. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Doc. Right, I must be off. Oh, thanks very much, Doc. Don't forget about the board as soon as possible. You're going to have your hands full. Story of my life. <laughs> Simon, hold the fort. I better see what Frank wants. Right, you know where I am if you want me. Yeah, thanks again, Doctor. Here, yeah, Doc, you haven't yeah. got anything for bad feet, have you? Why, well, are you having trouble? Not yet, but I've got a feeling I will have. There you are, Rod. I thought you were never coming. Oh, I had some stuff to sort out. Well, look, there's nothing doing here. We may as well shut up early and go and have a drink or something. No, look, I'm supposed to be somewhere. That's all right. I'll come with you. We can have a drink on the way. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. Isn't it? All right, then, tonight. Donna, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm, I'm leaving. Leaving? Leaving where? Just leaving the square, leaving London. Sorry, I don't understand. How long for? It's hard to say. 
What about the stall? Well, the stall's yours. Do what you want with it. I mean, the rent's paid to the end of the month. You've got plenty of stock. You'll be all right. And us? What about us, Rod? There isn't any us, Donna. There never has been. Look, I don't have to justify it's myself that group, to you. isn't it? You're going off with those girls. There's no need for this, Donna. I just thought I'd better... You thought what? Come on, tell me what you thought. That we could still be friends. And what was I supposed to do? Make you a packed lunch for your journey? Kiss you goodbye and wish you luck? You have to stand here. No, no, go on then, go on. I mean, I was getting tired of you anyway. I just didn't know how to say it. Well, now you've saved me the trouble. So go off and play, play pop stars with those little sluts. Go on, sod off! <laughs> what are you looking at? Here you go. Not a bad job, even though I do say so myself. Why can't he bang on the floor like everybody else? Ah, oh, well, Mo reckons we're going near him and we've got a rush on. Yeah, and I reckon that story about him and the quakes is a bit iffy. I reckon the Pat forgot how old Dave was. Isn't that right, Patsy? And what right? Pete Rings, you've crippled poor Frank making unnatural demands on his body. Oh, yeah. If I remember right with Pete, an unnatural demand was trying to wake him up. <laughs> get down. Have you finished yet, Simon? Yeah, it's all done, don't worry. Well, there'd be no need for all this if you'd been here to do the job you were paid hey, for. Hey, hey, hang on, Go on, give it a try then. Yeah, good idea. Well, Frank, let's hear it. Yeah! Yeah! Sharon, I've been looking for you. I'm glad it was you. I, I didn't want to come in through the front. Well, where have you been? I had to get away for a while, so I sought myself out. Look, I want you to do me a favour. Well, how long is your lordship going to be laid up for? Hard to say. Doc reckons about two weeks. Oh, I suppose you're going to be a bit pushed. Anyway, Mark can get your hand, I suppose. Yeah, of course, cool. if she can, you know. Excuse me, please. Mum. Where have you been? Yeah, well, I've got to go out. No, no chance. Mum, it's the last time I promise. I don't care what you promise, Sharon, you ain't going. That's fine. Do something for her. You've seen her? She's upstairs, yeah. I told her to make herself a cup of tea. Is that all right? Yeah, of course it is, Just Simon. Just minutes, but... that's all. <sighs> I need you here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd understand. Simon, darling. All right, I'll take one, but I don't suppose I should see Pete until closing time. Oh, you forget Uncle Arthur. The Vicky's open all day nowadays. Oh, yeah, I better take another one. Yeah. Yeah. Look, well, I've got to get back to the cat. I've left seen you on the run. Yeah, I, I see you. Like... Yeah, yeah. Ta-da. What can I do? Did I take you for a burglar? Hello, Cheryl. Sharon asked me to. You've seen her, then? Yeah, look, she wants me to pack up all her stuff. She's moving out. Why couldn't she come herself? Look, Cheryl, I don't know what's going on. Sharon disappears for two days and comes back and asks me to move all her stuff out. I know she's upset about them, but what's that got to do with you? She hasn't told you, then? Well, I wouldn't be asking if she had. Well, if she wants you to know, she'll have to tell you herself, won't she? All right, that's the way you feel. Where is she now? Why should I tell you? You won't tell me nothing. Come on, Wixie, don't be childish. You don't want her to move out, do you? And I, I can't stop her unless you tell me where she is. So where is she? She's at the Vic. All right, all right. I've only got one for you, man. Mo, would you probably see what Frank wants to be? Where's Simon? <laughs> he's doing something for me. He should be here. If he's going to be part time. He should be paid part time. I can't keep running up and down them stairs at my age. Nobody's asking you to run, Mo. Look, just this once, till Simon gets back. I can't oh. leave the bar. This once. Only because I can't bear to think of him up in his supper. Can't very much, love. Right, have you reckon? Yeah, take it from me. You get jealous, she'll be begging to come back. But if you follow her around like a spaniel, that's how she'll treat you. Well, tell her like I'm seeing another woman. Oh, don't tell her. Show her. I mean, there must be some crumpet down the market, yeah? Yeah. Bird on the jewelry store. Fancy me for years. So, invite her for a drink when you know Kathy's gonna be here. Ten minutes, she'll be begging for you to take her back. Never fails, mate. Thanks. Oh, bad time and all. I ain't had a break yet. I've enough of my mum of how you starting. Oh, thank you so much, Ian. I'm sorry I've been oh, so hey, long here. Just get off my back, will ya? But, Ali, if you're not going to be here half the time, can I get somebody else in? Sure, do whatever you want, just don't moan about it. Well, oh, terrific, I'll put an ad in the window. Yes, yes, do it. Oh, um, Ali, Sue phoned earlier on. What What's she say? I've been trying to get hold of her. What's she say? She just wanted to know if you were about, that's all. Any messages? Like I said, she just wanted to know if you were about, that's all. Especially want to say cheers or something. Cheers? What are you on about now? Well, I was out on my deliveries, right? Huh? Cindy was looking after the cafe and I saw her going off in the black taxi. Off? Off where? Well, I don't know, do I? Then how the hell do you know she was going off well, somewhere? She had suitcases. Did she have my little one with her? Well, yeah, he was looking out the back window. Donna, there's no one on your stool. You can't expect everyone else to watch it, not all day. Look, where's Ron? I don't know, and I don't care. Look, Donna, no, you... you look. Why the concern all of a sudden? No one gives a damn about me. They never have. I don't need you. I don't need Rod, and I don't need the poxy stall, so shut up and leave me alone. Thanks a lot, Harry. Cheers. What's up? Bitch was dropped off at Euston. I don't care where she is, I'll find her. I'll kill her. No one takes my kid yeah, away from me. You can't just get up and leave the cat, can you? Can't I? Listen, you've always wanted to run the place. Now's your chance. Run it. Yeah, but hold on, Ali. 
Him. I made him tell me where you were. We've got to talk. I thought we'd done enough of that already. Look, I don't know what's going on, but for God's sake, you two sort yourselves out. I'll be downstairs if I've still got a job. Shouldn't you be at work? I think this is more important. I don't think we've got anything left to talk about. I'm moving out. No, you're not. Den bought that flat for you. That's what I thought. Mug, wasn't I? Now, it's his way of making sure Vicky had a roof over her head. It's settled, Michelle. I'm going. Well, that's the last thing Den would have wanted. Just give me an hour, I'll move all my stuff out. No, no I've decided. I'll go and stay at Mum's for a while. And if you're so stubborn as to move out too, then the flat will just have to sit empty, won't it? So what was it all about, then? Ian says so just cleared off. Ali didn't know a thing about it. I was going to stack it out on her. Oh, there's been something going on over there for weeks, OK? I tell you, it shook me up. I thought you was going to kill her. It's done all right. I think so. Doctor Perone. Hey, Mum. Want a drink? No, I'm all right here, thanks. What's that? That's Frank. He's in. Yeah, oh. would you go and see what Frank wants, please, Sam? And I can't face them stairs again. Yes, mother. Uh, yeah, I'll have kids, mother. Right. What's up, Frank? Well, it's not serious, is it? There you go. I'll get that, son. And a pint for me, please. Pat and a Bacardi and cup. OK? Uh, Pete? Uh, fucking up. No, I'm fine, thanks. Right, hey, one yourself, Patsy. Oh, Tara, I'll have a gin tea, thanks, Pete. Are you a bit of a barney over the road, sir? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Got it all sorted now? Oh, yeah, it was just a misunderstanding, that's all. Yeah, good. Yeah. Hold it. Uh, that's it, then, eh? Well, uh, I'll see you, eh? I'll leave you to it. Hello, Pete. Hello, mate. Is that your dad, will you? Yeah. Uh, can I just have half, please, Pat? Yeah, well, I'm coming up. Well? Hi, Kevin. Well, what? What do you want? Who? Frank, of course. Oh, he was doing his crossword and he dropped his pen. Oh. Matthew, how long have you been here? Just walked in. Do you know what you've done? I haven't done anything. You left Aisha at the nursery. They phoned me at work in the middle of my meeting. God knows what they think about me. I might have lost my job and Aisha's in a right state. Forgot, all right? I just forgot. How the hell could you forget? Should I tell Aisha that, should I? <laughs> That's one way, I suppose. How long have you been there? I saw you coming out of the Vic. Sharon, if there's anything I can do to help... <sighs> like rewriting history. Might be a good idea. If things had been different, I might have... Oh, been Duncan, don't. I've got enough right now, and you, you don't know the half of it. I saw Pete this morning. He thinks there should be some sort of memorial service. What are you going to preach? The wages of sin is death. You'd be right there, wouldn't you? I wouldn't be like that at all. Den's friends talking about his life, what it meant to them. Like Fat Harry and Old Sparrow. Not to mention Jan and Mags. Michelle would probably have a few words to say and all that would be interesting. <laughs> so where are you having this do then, the Abbot Hall? I wondered if you wanted me to organise something. Yeah, why not? I could do with a good laugh. <laughs> It's all a farce, really, isn't it? Are you sure you don't want to go back upstairs? Why should I? Can I have a drink, please, Pat? Yeah, well, I was sure. just wondering if you feel better. Look, I'm all right here. I'm quite happy. Stop fussing. As long as you're sure. Yes. 65, please, Candy. Yeah. I'll be in there going to serve that geezer. I know you haven't been here much today, but don't tell me you've forgotten how to pull a pine. No, it's not then. What is it then? Well, it was a test drive that blue Cortina over to Carla. If you're not going to say well, something, then I am. No, Ian. Mum, it's getting embarrassing. Go talk to him, will ya? All right, then. Go on, go on. Pete, can I have a word? Of course you can, sweetheart. Sit yourself down. No, it's all right. I'll only be a minute. Look, I don't quite know how to say this, but I'm really pleased. You know that you've accepted things and you're trying to get on with your life. It really is a weight off my mind to know that you've come to terms with everything. I just wanted you to know this all. Oh, 
you were going to turn up sooner or later. Can't fool you, eh, Mum? Well, I'm not stupid. You have a big row, Sharon disappears. You don't have to be mastermind to work it out. She knows, doesn't she? Oh, well, she's bound to find out sooner or later. Don't worry, I'm not going to say I told you so. You'll be wanting to move back here then, I suppose? Yeah, just for a while, till I find somewhere else. It is your home, Michelle. Now, have you had something to eat? I'm not hungry. What about Vicky? I did her something before we left. I put her in Grand's room, is that all right? Yeah, of course. I'll put kettle on, eh? Mm. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fast asleep. Well, then, better tell me what happened. I just thought it was the right thing to do. To tell her, I mean. She's got no one now, has she? And you gone, then dead. I thought, well, if you know about Vicky. Yeah. Well, we all know what thought did, don't we? Mum, she had a right to know. Maybe, Michelle, but did you have the right to tell her? Look, I'm Vicky's mother. I mean, she's all the family Sharon's got left now. Yeah, and what about your own family? Did you think about us? It's got nothing to do with anyone else. It's just to do with me and Sharon. Oh, come on, Michelle. It'll be all round the square in no time. Then it'll all start again. The fingers pointing at us. The conversations that stop dead when you walk into a room. Huh. I can just hear Doc Cotton now. I knew this was a mistake. Do you know what it took for me to walk back through that door again, do you? I felt physically sick waiting for you to come home. And now, just an embarrassment to you, and I? I didn't exactly expect the red carpet treatment, but I didn't expect this either. Look, I told you, Michelle, this is your home. What more do you want? I know what I don't want. I don't want anyone making excuses for me. No one's going to make any excuses for you. The Beals have always stuck up for their own. What are we going to do about your father? Oh, don't tell him, Mum. I couldn't bear that. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to tell him. But sooner or later, someone will. Look, well, Sharon's not going to say anything. Why should she? Because she's been hurt. She hasn't got you anymore. She's going to have to turn to someone. You know what that means round here, don't you? Don't kid yourself, Michelle. He'll find out all right. They never knows what will happen. Do you know what it would do to your father when he finds out that Dennis Watts is Vicky's father? Well, do you?